Hey everyone, this is Tim Andrews from ZD Shadow Photography and today we're going into my commercial photography cocoon to take a look at uh, the classic Oakley M-Frame versus the new Oakley M-Frame, uh, sometimes referred to as the M-Frame 2.0. Uh, the classic Oakley M-Frame, and I have a lot of examples here uh, because I've bought many of them over the years. This is the old crystal blue frame with the old in, uh, old white ear socks, which have clearly yellowed over time from sweat and everything else. And the bowed out earpiece to accommodate helmet straps for those of us cyclists who have have loved Oakley for years for their their great windscreens and eye protection. And clearly, some of the old Lexan frames, uh, these used to be molded from GE Lexan, um, stress fractured over time. Lexan is supposed to be a very flexible uh, acrylic engineered by General Electric. Uh, unfortunately, it becomes brittle over time and tends to stress fracture. It, uh, it's used as a safety component in NASCAR windshields and things like that uh, because it tends to stretch instead of uh, fracture so that when the glass windshield breaks um, from debris, uh, that debris can't make its way into the cockpit of the vehicle. Um, the Lexan stretches and stops it instead. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't turn out to be the best component choice for sunglass frames. Newer M frames are, of course, made from nylon, uh, as I've been told anyway. And this is my, my newest M frame that I just recently bought. Uh, this is a standard flat black. M frame with a gunmetal icon, um, and this is from the the Oakley Custom Shop. I actually, if it'll, we'll see if the camera will actually zoom in on the earpieces. And it doesn't look like it's going to. But I actually got this at the Custom Shop in Chicago. So this is just a a gray sweep lens with the classic Oakley engraving over the bridge of the nose. So to take the lens out of this, what I've what I've been told is that classic M frame lenses don't fit in the new M frame 2.0 frame. And you can see that you know there are some key differences. If I grab one of my old frame pieces and hold it up next to you know the new ones, you'll see here that yeah, it definitely is different. There's there's a lot more thickness to the top bar, giving it more rigidity. Um, there's a lot more build up over the earpiece, allowing that to to just support more stress in general. Um, But uh, the main point of contention here is that these new frames won't support my old lenses. So what I want to show you is that when I do have this frame, I can take this lens out very easily. And you pop it out in the middle and then carefully pop out each side of the lens. And now I've just got my black M frame. And what I want you to see is that I can easily take, say, my old blue iridium heater lens. I can pop that in on each side. So first I pop in that side. Then I pop in this side. I get that firmly engaged on each side. You can see it's a little bowed out in the front still. And then I just push that in into the top frame. It doesn't go in super easy. You gotta kinda pop them in. But once they're in you can see that that lens is indeed perfectly secure in that frame. Now that's a classic heater lens. I probably bought that lens back in 1998 or 97. That's an old lens. But you can see the lens spec still fits perfectly in the current M frame. Popping that back out is just the same as as ever. 
pop the middle out, and then pop out each side. You know, I've got my old strike lens here in the back, same thing. Pop in the ends first. Apparently I'm a little shaky, I haven't eaten anything yet today. So, pop that end in, we'll get that end in, and then again, you see, there's a little gap there at the front, you gotta kinda push it back and into the frame as you pop it into the top lens slot. But once you have it in there, it's very secure. That's, that's my strike lens in the new frame. Now the reason I'm making this video is because I used to actually be able to replace the top plastic and the earpieces when they broke because I have a wider head than most people and and my lens plastic or my frame plastic does break over time even this particular frame here that I've got my sweep lens in if you if you take a look at it uh, right here at the back, you can see I've got a, a pretty good crack forming along the top there. I don't know if I'll be able to get the camera to zoom in on it, unfortunately. But I have a good crack forming on this last uh, integral M-frame frame that I have. A uh, crystal blue one from back in the day. But even my even my sweep lens from from that one easily goes into the new M frame once I get it engaged on each side then I just pop in the top now the one thing I will say is that it does seem to me like the newer lenses which are engraved with their date of manufacture by the way right over the top of the bridge um, where the old ones were not this one does seem to be a couple micrometers wider. Not a lot, mind you, um, but a couple. Enough so that when you do engage this one into the frame, it does go in a little bit more difficult. And you can see that it, it bows out just a little bit further than the old lenses do. So there is a little bit of difference, and this one definitely goes in a little bit harder. But at the same time, no less secure. And once I've got that in, she's locked in there. Yeah, she's not coming out. So, so that's the key difference between the new M frame and the old frame. And what I'll say is that the old lenses do fit. They may not fit quite as tight as the new lenses do. Uh, but they do fit, they fit securely, um, and I'm happy with it. Uh, so, that's it. Thanks.